All right, so if you guys have followed my channel for any length of time, you know I am not a fan of lamb. Well, that all changes today. That's right. I went out a little while back to an event. Uh, my brother Elias Vidal threw down on some lamb chops at Treaty Oak, and I became an instant fan. What can I say? So today, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do a lamb chop rack. So let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, we've got a fantastic rack of lamb here we got from uh, Happy to Meet You. And guys, I'll put the links down to uh, Happy to Meet You. You can check them out and, uh, you know, get you some of this ordered if you want. Uh, I believe your first purchase off, if you use my discount code, you'll get a 10% discount on your first purchase. So anyway, check them out. Happy to meet you out of Chicago, but we've got a fantastic uh, rack of lamb here and we're not even gonna do anything to it. It's got a nice little fat cap here on it. Uh, it's not too super big. There's a little bit that's a little stringy here. So we're gonna take off just a little bit of that and get rid of it, but we're not gonna do a lot to it. All right, guys, we're going to get this uh, lamb seasoned up here. Now, today we're going to be using a uh, beer infused rub here. Uh, this is uh, Derek Wolf uh, Spiceology. This is Cherry Chipotle Ale Rub. And I got this from my, uh, my local uh, good stock uh, meat market. And, uh, you know, I'll leave a link down there. You can check them out. But, um, yeah, we're going to use this. And it's kind of cool how it comes in like a, you know, like a can, like a beer can. It's got a really good cherry flavor to it. So we really do like this. And I think this will go really good on this, uh, on this lamb. So that's what we're gonna use. Now we're not using a binder on this lamb today because this lamb is actually pretty tacky already. So we're just gonna go straight on with it. And we'll get it flipped over and do the same here on the back side. I know you guys probably think, man, why are you seasoning that side with the membrane? Cause I can basically. <laughs> but we're going to get this all seasoned up here. Let's make sure we get our ends of our lamb chops here. Okay, now we've got that seasoned up. Let's make sure we get this end here. All right, and we'll use our rack here to kind of pick up what we got on the board here, guys. All right. So now that we got that seasoned up, we're just gonna add a little bit of kosher salt here. Not a lot, but just a little bit across this fat cap side here. And we'll give it a good press in. And at this point, guys, we're ready to get it on the grill. We're gonna let this hang out and uh, we're gonna get the grill fired up. All right, so today we're gonna be using our backline fabrications multi-tool, guys. Now we're gonna get this started with some B&B uh, &B, uh, oak lump charcoal, and we're gonna be adding some post oak wood splits from Sierra Wood. Now that's gonna give us a nice uh, kind of Central Texas post oak flavor uh, to this cook. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these lamb chops put on, let them get a little smoke, and then we're gonna finish them off, all right? So let's go. All right, gang, so you can see we've got a fire going pretty well here, and we've got a nice little smoke going on here. So what we're gonna do is we've got our, our lamb rack here put onto this cooking grate here, and I've got it kind of hung up a little higher because I want it to be away from this heat and just get a little smoke right now. So 
Again, I, if I can hold my hand here and I can hold it there comfortably, I know that it's not too hot. So we're gonna move this rack over here and let it get some smoke here. And now we've got our, our beautiful lamb rack absorbing some of this post oak smoke, guys. So we're gonna let this go for a little while. Again, give it just another check just to make sure we're not cooking too hot and we aren't. We should be getting some good smoke flavor there. So we'll bring you back here in a little bit. All right, so guys, we got our lamb going. It's over there on our multi-tool, smoking away with some of that Texas post oak. Uh, but hey, what I thought would go really well with this lamb is a cherry balsamic glaze. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get that put together. Now it's very simple and there's only a few ingredients you're gonna need, and that's gonna be uh, balsamic vinegar, uh, some cherries, some pitted cherries. Uh, I prefer the ones that are in the, that are in the water and not in the syrup. Uh, and we're gonna use some uh, Dijon mustard and that's really about it. So uh, let's get over here and let's get this cherry balsamic glaze put together for these lamb chops. All right, let's get it. So as I said, putting this uh, sauce together is gonna be very simple. We're just gonna use some coals here that we've already got built up. Knock this down just a little bit. Beauty of uh, live fire cooking is you get to use your coals and do what you got to do here. So we've got just a little cast iron uh, pot here that we're just going to set right there on the coals here. Now what I've got here is I've got a full cup of uh, balsamic vinegar that we're just going to get poured right in there. And we've got a cup of pitted cherries. And we're just going to put this in here. Now all we're going to do at this point is we're just going to let this kind of come up to a little boil here. Uh, and we're going to reduce this down. Now, it's okay to go ahead and mash some of these cherries, as you see me doing here, uh, because we still have a little bit more in the can that we can actually add to it. But we're just going to reduce this down, guys. So we're going to let this heat up, and I'll bring you back here in a minute. Now, as you can see here, our uh, vinegar is heating up pretty well. So we're just going to kind of stir it around a little bit. Now it's always a great idea guys to make sure you have a good welding glove that you can grab stuff that's hot. Uh, it didn't have to be a specifically a welding glove. It can be any kind of high temperature glove so that you can grab your pot or your wood or whatever you need to do here. But we're just stirring this around so it doesn't burn and we're gonna let it keep going. Now the idea that we're looking to do here is we're gonna reduce this. Now again, we put in here about a cup of uh, balsamic vinegar and we're gonna to try to reduce this down to about half. What that's gonna do is it's gonna sweeten up the flavor of the balsamic vinegar and uh, it's just gonna richen it up, guys. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay, so we've got our uh, sauce going away here and we're just gonna give a quick temp check here on our uh, lamb. Now, again, we're, we're just smoking it right now, getting some smoke flavor in it and uh, we're gonna call this done at 145. And right now, uh, we're at about 120 degrees, which means we're going perfect. We're gonna just kind of reverse sear this. We're gonna get it up to about 130 degrees or so. Once we get 130, we'll go ahead and grill it off and finish it up so we're good to go. So we can concentrate on our sauce right now. All right, so our balsamic reduction is coming along really well. We've reduced it down quite a bit, and we're at that point now where I'm gonna go ahead and add a little over a half cup more of uh, balsamic vinegar. To that, we're gonna add the rest of our uh, cherries here, which is about another cup. And that's gonna do it for the cherries. And we're just gonna give this a little stir around here. Now at the same time, we're actually gonna go ahead and uh, give us a little squirt of Dijon mustard in here. Now the Dijon mustard is gonna give it a little depth, a little bit of body to it, and uh, just the overall richness here. And we're gonna add probably about a tablespoon. And we'll get that mixed around in there. And just let that all come together, guys. All right, so our sauce is coming along really well here. We're ready to get this off. Now it still is a little on the soupy side, but it will actually thicken up as it cools down. So we are actually gonna get this off of our coals and let it cool down, hence why we need the gloves. So we've got this off here and we're gonna set it to the side and let it rest. 
All right, guys, so we got our cherry balsamic sauce ready to go. We're gonna check our uh, lamb here again and see where we're at. We're at about 130 degrees, 132 degrees actually. 133 is what I'm reading. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get this grilled off and we're looking for an internal temperature of completion to be about 145 degrees. So we're gonna target 141, 142 and expect our carryover to uh, finish this up. So let's get this lamb grilled off. All right, so we've got our cooking rack lowered down to our heat. We've got a good high temperature heat going here. So we're gonna get this lamb flipped over and get the fat side face down here. Let's see if we can kind of get this cook going, guys. Now, as you can see, we're starting to develop a great color on our lamb here. And the beauty of these chains here and what this rack does is you can move this thing around uh, any way you see fit to get this cooked on. So we've got it here over our uh, live fire here. We're just gonna get it grilled off. Again, we're looking for 145 to be our, our finishing temperature. Uh, so we're gonna probably pull this around 142 or so and expect our carryover to finish this cook off, guys. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's do a recap of what we did with today's cook. Now, again, if you guys have followed me, you know I'm not a fan of lamb, but I had some recently at a cook we did uh, out at Treaty Oaks, and my man uh, Elias Vidal made a fantastic uh, lamb chop, so that's what we're doing today. Now, we got us a lamb chop rack from uh, our friends over at Happy to Meet You, and again, their information is down in the description box, so make sure you go check that out. But we got this lamb rack from them, and we seasoned it up with, I forgot what it's called. Now we got this lamb chop rack seasoned up with a rub we got from our friends at Good Stock over in our... Now we seasoned up this lamb rack with a, a rub that we got from our friends at Good Stock. This one is called a cherry chipotle ale rub. So we got this uh, chipotle ale rub applied to our lamb rack. We made sure we got all sides coated really well. And then we added a little bit of kosher salt. So after we got this lamb rack ready to go for the grill, we got our grill fired up. Now today we're using our Backline Smokers Multi-Tool. Now we started it up with a little bit of B&B lump charcoal and we used some fire starters, some tumbleweeds, to get it started. Once we got this charcoal going well, we dumped it into our multi-tool and then we added some Texas post oak right from here in Austin, Texas from our friends over at Sierra Wood. Once we got some good coals going and a good amount of smoke going, we got our lamb rack onto our multi-tool so that we could absorb some smoke. Now we're careful to keep it up high away from the heat because we wanna get some smoke flavor into this lamb rack. So we got it smoked away and while we got it smoking, we decided, hey, let's make us a cherry balsamic sauce to go with these uh, lamb chops. So we made a very simple sauce that consisted of balsamic vinegar, some Dijon mustard, and some pitted cherries. Now the cherries we got were canned and they were were actually in water and not the syrup. So we added a cup of balsamic vinegar, we added a cup of cherries to our uh, cast iron pot and we got it in our coals. Now we simmered it down so we reduced it to about half volume before we added another cup of, uh, or probably another half cup or so of balsamic vinegar and a cup of cherries. At that point, we added a little bit of Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon or so, uh, just to give it a little bit more body and rich in that flavor. Now, here's a tip for you. If you want it to be really sweet, go ahead and add you a little bit of uh, sugar to it or maybe even a little bit of honey and you do that to taste. Naturally, as balsamic vinegar reduces, it does sweeten up, but for some people it can still have a good vinegar taste to it. So add a little bit of sweetener to it if you feel so. So once we got this sauce ready to go, we set it to the side and let it thicken up and we 
check the temperature on our lamb rack. Now, once we got our lamb rack to about 130 degrees, it's time to grill off this lamb. Now, we're looking for an internal temperature of about 145 degrees on this lamb rack to call it done. And so we figure, huh, let's take it up to about 140, 141. Once we get to that, the carryover temperature should get us to 145 and we should be good to go. At that point, we got our lamb rack off of our grill and now you are caught up with everything we did on today's cook. So let's go taste this lamb rack, all right? Let's go. All right, so here we are with this uh, lamb rack that's been rested now. We rested it for about 30 minutes. And guys, I apologize for the background noise here. My neighbors decided to come out and do some yard work, but it is what it is. So here we are, we've got our lamb rack. It's fully rested. We're gonna go ahead and cut into it here and see what we've got here. Now guys, I'm using my Dow Strong knife here. And uh, you know, if you guys are in the market for a great knife, this is absolutely a great knife. So make sure you check that out. So we're gonna cut into this uh, lamb roast here. And here we are, we've got it nice and rare for us guys. Look at that. Pull that chop out of there, set these to the side. Now here we are guys with our lamb chop. As again I said, it's nice and rare, just the kind of way we want it. Medium rare to rare is what we were looking for. We're gonna go ahead and cut a slice of it off of here. Now, we can't just go and eat this just like this, right? We gotta grab our cherry sauce that we put together for this. So we've got our cherry sauce here, guys. We're gonna just take a little bit of this cherry sauce just so we can put it on here and give it a quick taste. So here is our lamb with our cherry sauce on it. So let's give this a taste, guys. Cheers. All right, guys, so now this lamb is very succulent, is very tender, super tender. Now the cherry sauce is an absolute great accompaniment to this. And so I would tell you, definitely give this recipe a shot and uh, see how you like it. And if you do, make sure you comment down below and let me know that you tried this recipe out. It's a fantastic recipe. Again, visit my friends over at Happy to Meet You and pick yourself up a, uh, lamb chop rack so uh guys hey if you enjoyed what you saw here make sure you check out these videos i've got linked here as well as click on that subscribe button over there and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace